Today is a celebration of the life of a most extraordinary woman, Mary Elizabeth Sutherland Carpenter. Paul wrote, fight the good fight of the faith, take hold of the eternal life. Liz wrote, God knows I deserve heaven. <laughs> She was an essential part of my life, as she was in so many lives. Her code name in the White House, given to her by the Secret Service, was Springtime. She died on the first day of spring. I have no doubt that Liz would have been pleased at that confluence of timing and title, but I can't help thinking, too, that there's something in there that Liz Carpenter would have laughed about. She's determined as a covered wagon rolling over the plain. Thus her fearlessness in the face of danger is easy to explain. Her love of music, hymns, and poetry stems from the eaves when all the folks would gather for a concert neath the trees. You know, it's been said that we can tell that God loves those who sing out of key the most because he makes them sing so loudly. <laughs> and I don't think anyone has ever done so much to prove that statement true as my grandmother. Yeah. Off key, maybe, loud, sure, beloved, unquestionably. This is what she said in her book, Getting Better All the Time. I want low Methodist with hymns you sing and go away whistling. I want the church full. I think she would have been okay with the LBJ auditorium. And I want open sobbing, not just a few wet eyes. <laughs> but after all the political meetings I've advanced and pew packed for politicians, presidents to be, and presidents that were, I deserve a good funeral. Being funny went to the core of her being, and it came completely naturally to her. What a gift. Not only did it endure to the thousands and thousands of people she made laugh throughout her 89 years, it also reflected her passion for life, her craving for fun. As we experience the sadness of her loss, everyone should feel comforted that she had a whale of a good time on this earth, and she did it her way. She was the most remarkable woman I've ever known. Earthy, big-hearted, funny, controlling, creative, charismatic, high-octane, generous, irreverent, irresistible, irrepressible, and totally lovable. Truly an American original. Oh, 